Hopping is an important skill for every triple jumper to master. Put simply, hopping is jumping off of one foot, landing on that same foot before jumping again. It takes considerable strength and coordination to do well, and if not done correctly, can lead to bad jumps or even injuries. In this video, we'll teach you the basics of how to hop. We'll start by hopping in place. This preps our body to know what it feels like to handle force on one leg. If you want to use the double arm technique, you can do the same drill but swing the arms while you jump to practice the proper timing. Whenever you're hopping or bounding, you want to land flat footed. You don't want to land on your heel or on your toe. You want to land flat. Not only are they not efficient ways to transfer horizontal momentum, landing on your heel or toe can lead to injuries like a bruised heel and shin splints. Next, we'll move forward while hopping. To begin, set cones about a yard apart and hop next to each cone while keeping an upright posture and relaxing the free leg down between each jump. Gradually increase the distance between the cones as you become more comfortable. Remember to work on both sides equally to ensure balance, strength, and coordination. To train the dropping of the free leg, hop over the hurdles instead of next to them. Let the free leg drop down over the hurdle like it's a magnet and your foot is stuck to it. Relaxing your free leg down and back puts it in an optimal position to swing forward into the step phase of the triple jump. Eventually, you can remove the cones and hop however far you can. Finally, we'll do takeoff planks. These are great for training the feeling of the hop at full speed without having to land on the hard track. Take off from a long jump board that you can comfortably make the pit from. You could also do these onto a high jump mat or other soft surface. Remember, the goal is to carry as much momentum as possible through the takeoff and into the hop phase. So be sure to drive your hips through the board as far as possible before leaving the ground and entering the hop phase. Your free leg should be straight down at the approximate halfway point of the hop. During the second half of the hop, you want to try to get your knee out in front and your leg extended before attacking the ground directly underneath your hips. As you go through the hop, focus on being as smooth and fluid as possible, as this will help with the timing in the air and put you in the best spot to transition into the step phase, which is probably the most difficult part of the triple jump.